Oh, so it's already dead. Chivalry dropped a trailer at E3 that portrayed its stellar and new ideas at melee combat, but what it shows is by far the most cash-grabbing game sequel I've seen since Bad Rats the Show. Can't prove if it's an alpha or a beta, but what from Stipo has taught me about E3 reveals, I highly doubt this is either a beta or an alpha. Tripwire. Nice. They know what it takes to get a meaty chunk from an enemy. You go first. It's your chicken. <laughs> I'm not a medieval historian, but without a sheath or a clear holster for a sword, how did it make that noise? Let alone not wipe the blood off of it. Sword unsheathing sound is made from metal on metal with a release. Think of a tuning fork. Clashing metal leaves a lingering noise. That guy tripped. <laughs> not gonna lie, this 100% looks cool as shit and is executed really well. You can clearly hear the motivation in the commander's voice. The raining arrows, although they're not hitting anything, does represent a set of stress, kind of like the trebuchets in Mordhau. They aren't aiming for anyone, but if they hit, <laughs> that clearly sliced his stomach, but I guess I'm so used to good hitboxes I can't go back. <laughs> And it even cut his head off. That son of a bitch just used an air bending technique to take his head from his shoulders. Oh, the order! This is one thing chivalry has always done correctly maps. Chivalry's maps are fantastic. The idea of escorting siege equipment only to use it on a huge castle is fantastic. Mordehau's maps aren't as spectacular, but I'm certain that'll be a primary focus in the future. Kill them! Kill them this actually gave me goosebumps. The beauty of Torn Banner's choice in voice actors was always great. You can hear the motivation behind the battle cry. That's not just some commander telling his men what to do. He has a vendetta against them, which is chivalry's other specialty, vengeance. In the lore for chivalry, Agatha Knights, the original rulers of their kingdom, left to go fight a war. While they were gone, the Order took hold of the original kingdom, just as Agatha came back. This led to a civil war, but the Order were very clearly not the good guys. They were just a bunch of uprising knights that didn't like Agatha. This is wrong. Sorry. On top of that, Agatha weren't just killing the Order to kill them. The Order took their home, and expecting Agatha to die in battle. It's a blood-fueled hatred coming from fellow soldiers that you used to call brothers. And instead of being greeted back home with a feast and celebration, a tired army is met with more blood. Only from this time, it's their friends. Chivalry knows how to set the world they're creating. They know who would express it correctly, and who would be able to lead their charge. Sadly, this comes at a trade-off. The game fucking sucks. <laughs>